Hi everyone, my name is Abby and I am on ShareASales Publisher Management Team. Today I'm going to go over ShareASales Make a Page tool. Now you may have seen the webinar I did on the Product Showcase tool, which allows you to create a dynamic banner ad. The Make a Page tool will show you how to select specific products that you can create for a storefront for your website. Before I dive into the tool, I want to show you how important it is to check out the merchant's data feed that they have on file with us before using the Make a Page or the Product Showcase tool, just because these tools are powered by a merchant's data feed. So I'm going to hover over Merchants and select Data Feed Merchants. And a data feed is an Excel spreadsheet that the merchant uploads to their share a sale account. So it includes some required fields such as product name, product price, a description of the product, an image of the product, the SKU number, and things along those lines. So you can search for specific merchants that you want to include in your product showcase or your make a page by using this keyword search here. You can always filter out this list by merchants whose programs you've already joined, or you can also filter it out by category. But what you're looking for here is when the feed was last updated, so making sure that it was updated recently. And you can also hover over these blue dots here. This will show you exactly the percentage of the merchant um, in each field that they're using. So you can hover over this last circle here and see that 100% have unique image values added to their data feed. You can also see that 100% have search term values available. So essentially the more blue dots filled in, the better. So definitely check out this report before you dive into the Make a Page tool. I'm going to go into that now. So I'm going to hover over Tools and then click on Make a Page. And the keyword that I used for the product showcase was Planner. So I'm going to use the same keyword here. You can hit Go or you can select the Advanced option. So if you wanted to upload planners from a specific merchant, you can select them from this drop-down menu. You can also choose to select programs that you're not yet a member of. So if you're looking for programs that sell planners, you may want to choose this option so you can be aware and apply to join those programs so that you do have access to their links. Or if you just want to show merchants whose programs you're already approved for, simply select I am already a member which is what I'm going to do here for this example. Since I'm already a member, the links will work right away for me. If you watched our How to Search for Merchants webinar, you saw how to favorite a particular merchant and add them to a list by clicking on the star next to their name in the merchant directory. So you can also use a favorites list here. So that's just one other function that we provide to you. So I'm going to hit go on the make a page. And you can see all of the programs that I'm already a member of have been added here to the left hand side. And they're all products that I can add to my make a page. So just for the sake of time, I'm going to select the first few that I see here, maybe four of these different planners. So all I did was click on the green plus sign that says add next to it. You can see that they're populating on the right hand side under my page layout. So now comes the fun part. You can totally customize the storefront to carry the same look and feel as your website. So you can change up the outer border width and height. Typically I just get rid of the outer border altogether. If you wanted to keep it there, you can always switch up the color of the outer border as well. And then mostly you're going to be using this product display option. This is where the true customization comes into play. 
So you can switch up what is being displayed. So maybe you are including multiple merchants in this make a page. You can choose to include the merchant name so that your audience knows exactly where the product is coming from. Maybe you want to show that the product is on discount. So you can see here, the retail price is a lot uh, larger than the normal price here. So if your readers like uh, discounts, you might want to show them the savings that they're getting by purchasing through your website. If the short description is available, you can also include that on your makeup page as well. So there's definitely some different images and information to include here. I'm going to get rid of the merchant name for now. And then you can also add some different labels. So if you wanted to put price in front of the price, feel free to do so. So you can definitely label the information as well. And then you can adjust the width and height, again, so that it fits properly on your website. You'll want to make sure uh, that you play around with these sliders to make sure um, that all of the products are matching up on the back end of your website so that it looks nice and clean on the front end of your site as well. And then again, you can switch up the border width and height or get rid of it all together. So this is what it would look like on the front end. Now I kind of like having a small border there, but that is solely up to you and what you want it to look like. Again, you can change up the color and you can also change the font. So whatever font family you're using on your website, you can enter that in the font tab. So basically you're doing a lot of playing around with which products you want to add to your makeup page and how you want it to be displayed in these options here. The last thing that you'll have to do, kind of like the product showcase, is get, um, grab the code. So what you'll want to do, if you're wanting this page layout, which is a table of the curated products, then you'll want to hit get page code. We do have the option for a gallery code as well. So if you click on gallery preview, this is how it'll be laid out on your website. So it's another way to visually scroll through products on your site. So if you're choosing this option, you may want to include more than four products to uh, show your audience. So that's what the gallery preview will look like. Oftentimes than not, most affiliates will want the page code anyways. So we're going to select get page code. And if you watch the product showcase training, uh, you'll know that that code was pretty short. This makeup page code is going to be very long. So you'll want to make sure that you're dragging your mouse and copying the entire HTML code. So hit copy. And then I'm going to go into the back end of my blog site. Make sure that I'm on an HTML tab and plug in that HTML code. So make sure that you're plugging in the HTML code wherever HTML code is accepted on your website. And again, it's going to look super long because there's a lot of product information that you have on this make a page. And I always like to preview what the make a page is going to look like just in case I do have to edit any of the dimensions on the make a page. So I can always save the template of my make a page and then pull that up and make edits as needed. So you can see this is what it'll look like on the front end of my website. So I didn't change up the font or anything for this particular makeup page. Um, so it was just the standard on what we had originally in there. And then as consumers click on these products, they'll redirect quickly through ShareASale and land on the product where they can complete the purchase and I can earn the commission. So of course you can upload more than four images. You can upload as many images as you like. 
And like I said, really play around with the customization options for you uh, to get it how you want it to look on your website. And you will have built your own storefront where readers can scroll through the different uh, products that you've picked out for them and make their own purchase. So that's all I have for you guys on the Make a Page tool. If you do have any questions, please email our team at shareasale at shareasale.com or give us a call anytime Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Central Time. Thank you.